All right, fish, I'm getting ready to free you of two things. One's gonna be the hook in your mouth, there's gonna be the hook in your butt. I am not kidding, this fish has a hook in its butt. Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. In this video, we're gonna talk about some of my favorite summertime catfish baits, an easy one, and one that's a little harder to get. Depending on your level of experience and how much fishing you have done for catfish, uh, picking a bait, finding a bait, catching a bait uh, can be a little bit of a challenge. It can even be intimidating, especially if you're new to this sport. And uh, we've all been at that point. We all understand that. Uh, uh, bait is the single most important thing, really, uh, when it comes to catching fish. Uh, you. You know, tackle's important, uh, especially if you start getting into bigger fish, but you gotta have good bait. If you don't have good bait, it don't matter what kind of tackle you got. So, uh, a couple of things I'm gonna talk about is some of the easy baits to come by that are excellent baits during the summer, and uh, some of the uh, harder baits to come by, but if you can get your hands on it, uh, it's one of the best baits to have. I think we may have our first taker. Looks like a small fish. I'm not even sure if it's a catfish, maybe a perch. Right underneath the boat, right behind the boat, I should say. Wasn't that far. I think it just flipped off. Nope, still on there. Little spitty catfish. He's gonna count. He will count. Right there is a fin job ah, looking for a place to happen I know better there's a fin job looking for a place to happen learned my lesson too many times number one and it's on chicken boom we got two going off here I think we got a couple perch and I got a catfish rod going off double deuces on the perch that's good Need to load up on some bait. Need some bait. Put out a couple of pieces, little pieces of stuff there. This sucker. Oh yeah, good looking little perch. Easy. Boom, he's already hooked up. Let's deal with the catfish real quick. This is on the uh, bluegill side of the boat, by the way. Gonna be a hot one today. Around 95. 105 degree heat index. It's gonna be stagnant. Stagnant air. Welcome to summertime. Nice channel cat. Get him in the boat. Flipped uh, off the bait there. It was on a bluegill fillet. Easy. Easy. Here we go. Good looking, Good looking channel cat. Get back alive, see if the perch is still on. I think they are. Boom, yep. Lots of deuces. And two good ones, too. That one there, folks, is big enough for a sandwich. I'll show you something I've just seen in the tank. That one off of there. Boom, get me another little piece on there. That one came off. One of those perch spit up a piece of bait, show you what they're feeding on. Not much bigger than the pieces I'm putting down there. Get here. Oh, what do you got? There it is. There it is. That's what they're feeding on. This year's hatch of thread fin. Boom. Boom, there goes a catfish, and there goes a perch at the same time. Deuces on the perch. We've got a good place for the perch here, obviously. Good place for perch. Maybe reeling some perch. Boom, that one's taking drag. That one behind me taking some drag. Ripping line. That could be a good fish. We get the small one out of the way real quick and we'll deal with that one. They may have been in here feeding on these uh, 
Maybe a bigger fish feeding on these perch. We'll see. Looks like a blue came up to the top of the water. He's a channel cat. This one came on the chicken side. And the good hit is on the uh, bluegill side. No perch. Let me deal with this one. There he is. This will put us at four fish total fairly quickly and uh, two apiece. This one here. What we got here. Heavier fish, not a monster, but a good fish. Better than what we've had. Happy to be catching them. Trying to get a few in the boat before it gets nasty hot out here today. It's gonna be a scorcher. Welcome to summertime. Yep, good fish. Get these rods out of the way. Boom, something on the perch rod. We have to reconnoiter our rods here. Easy. Good looking blue cat. Nice fish. Get him back alive on this side. If you're keeping track at home, it's four fish, one on two on each of the baits. We're even so far. And we got another perch. All right, let's get some rods back in order. We got, <laughs> look at this. We got three rods out of the water here where we loaded them up in a hurry. So what we're doing on this trip is taking two of my favorite summertime baits. One's easy to come by, one's a little bit harder, but uh, they're both baits that pretty much anybody can get their hands on no matter what their level of experience is. And that's chicken breast and bluegill. Uh, what I'm doing on this trip is fishing them side by side just to see how they perform give you guys a look at which one you might want to go with on your next trip. All right, there may be a fish on this. It's up toward the top of the water. It's not flailing around. Who knows if one, yeah, it feels like there's a little resistance. I think a channel cat might have been on this while we were uh, in that little flurry of fish back there. Sometimes that'll happen and have a rod go off and not even realize it's gone off and got fish on it. Yep, small fish. a good time uh, too. I can check bait on these things. Chicken doesn't stay on as good as other fish. So I periodically check my bait anyway. This worked out well. A little small channel. A little small one. Come hooked did the trick. Little one. I may have one on the bluegill side hooked up i had a bite over on the uh chicken side bite thought it was going and uh didn't look like it hooked up and then a second later it hit on this one i don't know if it's the same fish or i just came through a group of them uh, i'm gonna go check that bait here in a second but this one stayed buttoned this will put us at six fish bang with a tie we're even at six fish, three apiece. There he is. Dang. Get them back in the water. Well, obviously, chicken breast is the easiest one to get your hands on. All you got to do is go to your local grocery store. Do like I do, get a pack of it. That's about $3, a uh, cheap pack. And uh, usually one breast will get you through the entire day of fishing. Uh, I'm usually using this in smaller chunks. It's, you know, it's pretty oily. Uh, it's got some grease to it, disseminate scent. I have found I really don't catch any more fish on bigger chunks than I do on smaller chunks. Cut it up into pieces about the size of the end of my thumb. 
and uh, you're good to go. It's a good readily available bait. Boom! Hooked up. Bluegill side of the boat. Like kind of waning a little bit here. Slowed up. I don't know if we came through a pocket of fish or what. Or some of these fish were... I'm up on a flat is what I'm fishing. And uh, river channel's over behind me. It's a medium depth flat here. But anyway, I don't know if the fish were up here shallower and pull them back deeper if I just hit a pocket of them. Uh, it's that time of the year when trolling's your best way to find fish. And uh, I'm finding them. I ain't found no monsters. I ain't finding a lot of blues either, which is kind of odd. A bunch of channel cats biting where I'm at. At that one blue. That was been it, man. Looking channel. Get it back. Number seven. Brim has taken a slight lead. Now, some people choose to add different scents uh, and colors to this stuff. Uh, There's some people who add jello for coloration and flavor. Uh, some people add garlic. I've heard of WD-40, a lot of different things. Uh, I just use it plain. That's what I suggest you do is just uh, use it and try it plain. And uh, maybe from there you can vary it up with some other things. Uh, but obviously, as you can tell, it catches fish. Uh, there's no denying that it will catch fish and it's a relatively easy bait to get your hands on. Bang, I think I got another one going already. Another on the bluegill side. A little heavier fish. Just got that other rod out. And uh, this one started popping. Still not a monster fish. But I will say this, the catch rate's great. I'm catching a lot of fish. Uh, this is fish number eight. Uh, in a, I don't know, less than an hour of fishing, maybe an hour and 20 minutes, spent a little time, got out here a little bit before daylight, spent some time catching bait, got down here, so bottom line is, it's a lot of fish. <clears throat> we ain't going to win no tournament with them, but we ain't fishing no tournament either. That is a main channel cat. Oh, yeah. Big old male. All right, fish. I'm getting ready to free you of two things. One's going to be the hook in your mouth. There's going to be the hook in your butt. I am not kidding. This fish has a hook in its butt. And I'm going to help it out. That cannot be fun. Ooh. Oh. Treble hook. He's better now. Treble hook in his butt. Dr. Dieter. Treble hook in his butt. Poor thing. But I saved him. He's bleeding. Oh. Oh. That's cringeworthy. That just made me go, ouch. Oh. Oh. Ouch. There's a variety of ways you can fish bluegill. You can fish them live. Uh, you can use them as cut bait. Uh, that's my favorite way to use them. I like using a fillet off of each side. And uh, depending on the size of bluegill, sometimes you get two pieces of bait out of those fillets. And uh, then a head off of them. Uh, catfish love the heads on these things, especially the blue cats. Uh, but they uh, probably catch more channel cats than they do anything, especially here in the summertime, especially right around the spawn. But uh, they are an excellent bait. They're an excellent flathead catfish bait too. If you're looking for good flathead bait, uh, they are excellent. And you can fish them live underneath a bobber. Uh, they are a go-to bait for catching flatheads. All right, guys, got one going on the bluegill side, getting out here toward the mouth. I'm hooked up. It's got a head jerk like a channel cat. We'll see what it is. Let's see what it is. It's not big, so I'm gonna kind of creep it in kind of slow. Walleye fish it, as I say. Walleye fish it. Little delicate little mouse. It is the heat of summer, the humidity, the early morning humidity starting to burn off. It'll be a hot one. Welcome to summertime. Boom. 
Missed the channel cake. Oh, I'm untangled there. Missed the channel cat. Gorgeous little fish. Gorgeous fish. Catfish sumo. Piece of bluegill. Bluegill's kind of taking the lead here. Bluegill's winning. I think that's fish number nine. Now my favorite summertime bait is bluegill. I love to fish with bluegill. If you've watched any of my videos in the summer, you'll see me fishing with them a lot. Uh, a couple of reasons. One, they're relatively easy to catch in the summer. Uh, even for you bank fishermen, if you're fishing from the bank, you can catch these things right along the bank, usually within a few feet of the bank. Uh, sometimes of the day, depending on the temperatures, better than others. Typically, I'd rather be out there catching the bait late. Uh, in the day or very very early before the sun gets up above the trees uh, just catch them on red worms and some bobbers uh, I've got videos on it here on the channel just uh, search bluegill and my name and you'll find plenty of videos on how to catch them uh, but I really like them in the summer I think uh, I think catfish really start to key on these fish when the water warms up Bye, um, got one on the chicken bait <laughs> Make a little pull through there. I only got that one fish. I'm getting back out here to the mouth and dumping into the main lake. And uh, I got bit. So, not exactly on fire. I'm going to be curious if this is a morning bite. I got bit good early, early. It's in that other line. But uh, not a lot of love since then. So, sun's starting to get up, starting to heat up a little bit. Oh, you inhaled that, didn't you, fella? So it may require surgery. Get back in the water before you bleed everywhere. Boom. Now for many of you, make sure you check your local laws. Uh, laws vary here in the Carolinas. We can use bluegill, brim, uh, everything except for red breast sunfish in South Carolina. Check your local laws though, just to see what they are, see what the limits are, if you can use them, uh, if you have to catch them on rod and reel like we do, or if you can cast net them. Uh, just make sure you're in compliance with the laws so you don't get yourself in trouble. Boom, got another one going on the chicken. Not a monster, but we're getting bit. A little better bite rate anyway out here toward the river channel. We're going to see what happens. I'm going to keep pulling toward the deep water on the flat adjacent to the channel. Water's nice and clear. Our lake's normal. Summer pool. Good normal height. Another channel, even out here, getting busted uh, with the channel caps get him to work over to this side there he is Bam. there he is chicken making a comeback Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing. And here are a couple of more videos that I think you're going to like.